Hey guys, it's Jolly. Today I'm going to be doing a demo and wear test of the, let me get the name, it's a long, it's a long name, the House Labs by Lady Gaga Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. So it's her only foundation out right now, but just in case she comes out with you know, another one in the future. I just wanted to say the full name. So I'll be trying it in the shade 330 today. And if you want to check it out, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to get right into this. I put on my Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Serum. And now I'm going to prime with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. Take about two pumps with that, see where it gets me. I do my makeup so infrequently that I can't remember how much primer I need. But I really make sure to focus this on my nose area because that's where I get oily. And I'm just trying to have a little more longevity there. And I forgot my beauty blender, so I'll be right back. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Here is the foundation. I just have a sample. So I'm going to be applying it with a brush today. I've heard that this is a thinner, runnier foundation. And I like my Real Techniques stippling brush for those kinds of foundations. Let's get some on the back of my hand. And this is the shade that I'll be trying, which is 330, which is described as medium cool. I think it's described as medium with golden olive undertones. Ah, oh, whoa, there's definitely a scent. Kind of distributing and then we're gonna go in. I wasn't sure about this foundation because it has a lot of oils. It has tons of ingredients in general. It does have denatured alcohol. This is covering beautifully. Like I had a dark mark here from a breakout and I have some here, and this is covering beautifully. This is where the worst that I have to cover is. And um, we'll see how it does. But yeah, it has denatured alcohol and it has fermented Arnica extract. And Arnica extract I heard a noise, sorry. I think it's just my bag crinkling. But Arnica extract is on the Polish Choice website as an irritant. <sighs> but I still wanted to try this foundation. As you can see, I am breakout prone, so it's like I have to be careful. I think I gotta apply too much. A little bit goes a long way, you guys. A little bit goes a long way, and I don't really like foundation under my eyes unless I'm under painting with a light concealer, which I decided not to do today. So you guys could see the true shade of this foundation. So there's a lot on my forehead. <laughs> Go over the eyebrows, bring some down the nose. I had already decided to do, what did I have a hair here? Yep. I had already decided to record this today and I had the shade and everything. I actually have 340 as well, but I think this is gonna be a better shade match. And 
Anushka here on YouTube just uploaded hers yesterday in the same shade I was going to use. And we are shade match twins, so I was very confident about this shade. Um, she also said that she would use more powder next time because even with powder, it felt kind of wet. And, like, it looks wet. Like, it... She said it transferred. And I'm not surprised because it has so many oils. And I don't really have time. I was going to say I need to, like, give it time, see if it dries down. But, you guys, I... I'm going to church with my friend and I don't really have time for all that. So I'm about to set it. So I'm going to grab, let's see. I have enough in here for at least one more use, I would say. So we're going to cover that up. So I'm going to go into set with my Sephora Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Powder, but not before concealing. What am I doing? You know when you're in a rush and you just start trying to move forward and you're like wait a minute I'm skipping steps so let me apply the rest of my makeup but that is the powder I'll be setting with my concealer will be the Fenty one the Fenty Beauty instant retouch concealer in 310 and I'll meet you back here all right I am done with my full face and this is what we're looking like um the shade edge is pretty good um, and we'll see how this wears throughout the day because like I said this foundation has a lot of oils and I have an oily skin type so I will check back in later we're gonna do a wear test today it's gonna be a long one today uh, today <laughs> right now it's 9 12 and I'm not gonna be getting back until later tonight probably like 8 p.m. or so maybe so we'll see how it goes hey guys I'm back um, so I put on this foundation about nine this morning. It is 8 35 p.m. So we've got like an 11 and a half hour wear test. And let me zoom you in. This is what we're looking like. I have a very oily nose. So yeah, the oils have really broken through there. I've lost some coverage here. I was like trying to take a nap like hours so <laughs> I did a lot of lying down on this foundation um, it wore longer than I expected so the pros are it seems to be pretty long wearing um, and I was impressed by the coverage the cons on me this is too oily um, it just is I was concerned about it because there are um, some oils in the list of ingredients I mentioned earlier that the product does have denatured alcohol and um, fermented arnica extract this product has a lot of ingredients like on sephora the list is like bam and the alcohol and the arnica extract are about maybe like a quarter of the way down in their lengthy list of ingredients so i feel like you know it's not like in the top five ingredients or something like that i feel like i'm crooked i'm sorry um but yeah anyway I feel like it's just it's just not for my skin type I mean I don't know because it's not for me personally because I have seen people who say that they are oily like this foundation when I'm getting oily looking like on my chin and stuff in places I'm usually not because my my most oily area is my nose other than that some oil can break through especially like you know in the summer and stuff but yeah, when I'm oily in places that I'm normally not, I'm like, okay, this is just not the one for me, you know? Um, just in case you're curious, my favorite foundation right now is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Toasty Toffee 4W2. Um, and I haven't done a video on that yet, so I will try to the next time I wear makeup, maybe. Um, but anyway, I don't want this video to get too long. Um, I, yeah, I'm glad I tried it. Um, and... I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.